Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to continue on with this fun little series we have going, Scents by Room, which is just essentially my recommendations for different categories or different areas of your house. So that doesn't necessarily mean you need to choose a different scent for every single area of your house. I maybe like to do that because uh, I like to dabble in all the different categories, but you may be someone who is um, a lover of all things clean laundry kind of scents, so you would tune into that particular video. You may be someone like myself and love a good gourmand bakery cookie cake scent, so then you may want to focus on an area of the house where that would be appropriate. Um, I myself, if I had to only pick one category, for those of you who've been with me for any amount of time know I'm a bakery girl. If I had to choose just one category for the rest of my life, it would have to be bakery. I want everything to smell like a cupcake or a cookie or some kind of deliciousness, but I do also really enjoy some of the other scents. So, um, so I will choose different categories and different areas of the house. So let's go ahead and get started with my favorite uh, area of the house or category, and that is the kitchen. So this particular area of the house, you may want to focus on um, more foodie type scents. You can definitely still go the fresh clean route as well. And we're gonna, going to get into that. Now, with this series, I'm really trying to pick only six scents, six of my like top recommendations, but I'm choosing seven only because one of them is no longer available. So, and then there is a little like mixture and you guys know what mixture I'm gonna go with. So let's go ahead and get started. One that definitely had to make my list is for sure coconut lemongrass. This is the perfect kitchen type scent Oh my goodness, I love this scent so much. I, I was going in between either, I, I only wanted to pick like one lemon scent. Otherwise, I really, I actually had on my list, I was like, ooh, squeeze the day, ooh, coconut lemongrass. I was like going back and forth. Either one is going to be really, really great for the kitchen. Um, I chose coconut lemongrass because it has a little extra like zesty, zingy note to it. It is, it, it doesn't smell like a furniture polish or anything like that. Um, this is just a really good zesty lemon uh, scent with a little sweetness from like a coconut, but oh man, is it good. And this is super strong. This is going to be the key to getting rid of any super strong lingering dinner or food smells. If you are cooking bacon, if you are cooking fish, if you are cooking something that just tends to linger for a really long time in the kitchen, this is gonna be your go-to to get rid of any of those lingering food scents. It works like a charm every single time, I'm telling you. So this had to make my list 100%. It's so good, it's really clean, it's definitely fresh, and it's totally functional by getting rid of those like super strong food scents. I love the smell of our dinners and stuff, but when I'm done eating, I don't wanna smell it anymore, <laughs> you know what I mean? So let me tell you what Sensi says about this, but oh man, it is so good. And it's a bestseller for good reason. So coconut lemongrass, Sensi says, creamy tropical coconut and sunny bright lemongrass. It's simple, it's perfect, that's exactly what it is. It's so good. So that definitely had to make my, my little pack of kitchen scents. So coconut lemongrass. Next one, kind of along the same lines, but a new, a new release this season is Coco Lime. I am loving this scent so very much. Oh my goodness. It, you get that same like zingy note that you get from the coconut lemongrass, but it's different because it's lime. It's definitely, it's all lime, but it's zesty, it's zingy, and then you get the sweetness from the coconut. I just, I love that. I love the zesty, zingy notes, and then the sweetness of the coconut just kind of like, they marry so well, and it just kind of, they they just balance each other out so, so insanely well. Mm, I love it. So, amazing for the kitchen. Or if you are someone who you just like those citrusy lemon lime notes all throughout the house, you've gotta give this one a try, it's so good. So since he says cocoa lime is coconut milk and creamy vanilla get energized with a citrusy splash of fresh lime. Now in this description, there is that creamy vanilla that they're saying is in there. I don't smell vanilla in this. I don't smell it on cold. I don't smell it when it's warming. It's just fresh, super authentic lime in my opinion. I think this smells just like if you, 
were to stick this under my nose, I just smell lime. And this actually triggers a scent memory for me. I think I mentioned this in a, in a uh, previous video. Lime, like fresh, real lime scents always take me back to my grandparents' house. Uh, they lived in San Jose and they had lime trees and I just, whenever I smell this, I, I get taken back to there. And it just, it's a really good, happy memory. And so I, but if you like were to stick this under my nose, that's immediately what I think about. And I just, I smell that fresh lime. Like I would think, I wouldn't think it's wax that's under my nose. I would think it's, it's lime. It's maybe some kind of like a lime cocktail because you do get that sweetness of the coconut, but you don't smell like vanilla. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, I would say this one probably would be a good one to take away any lingering food scents as well. Lemon is always going to be the way you're going to want to go, but this is a really good performer and it has that, that same kind of like citrusy properties that are really good at um, getting rid of those like lingering food odors. So that one's really great. Okay. Next, let's talk about this one. This one always has to be a favorite. I tend to not reach for it so much during the spring and summer months, but it's definitely one that like, if I'm really in the mood, I'm gonna wanna go for it. And it's apple cherry strudel. This one's really, really nice. And definitely one that, oh, I love it. <laughs> I just love this. It's so comforting. This is one, if I just want something to smell super bakery, this is what I'm gonna go for. Oh, it's really good. Um, you smell the apple. What I love is that there's apple, but there's no spice to it. It's just apple. You get a little bit of that really sweet cherry in this, and then you get that golden buttery pastry note with it as well. It's so, so nice. What I will say about this, it's a good performer when it first starts out, but then it does kind of futz out pretty quickly. But these days when I'm going through wax like crazy, I'm okay with it. Um, I do wish it would last a little bit longer, but you know what, for when it does perform, it's fantastic. So apple cherry strudel definitely had to make my list for the kitchen. Now you guys know, like I said, I'm a bakery girl. It, it, I could make a list seven miles long <laughs> for all of my like must haves for like bakery or gourmand scents. I'm just picking like what my absolute top sense would have to be just to try to narrow it down for you guys. Um, and then this one's a tried and true staple that you definitely always have to have. Did I didn't even tell you the, <laughs> I didn't even tell you the description of this one. Ugh, Johnny Appleseed. That's another really good one to have for the kitchen. It didn't make my list, but it's another really good one. Let's go bakery. Apple cherry strudel is granny Smith apple, cherry and vanilla drizzle insist on dessert first. Yes, please. <laughs> it's so good. It really does. It smells so good and tasty and delicious. Okay. So this one, we can't have a gourmand or kitchen category without sugar cookie. Absolutely. Sugar cookie, like I said, is a tried and true staple around my house. This is one that I always have to have on hand, whether in bar form or in brick. Um, in, you can get the bricks right now, but only through Scentsy Club. So sugar cookie is available in a full size Scentsy brick, but you have to subscribe to it through Scentsy Club. So if you have any questions, contact your consultant or uh, contact me. I'll leave my contact information down below. This is one that I always like to have in a brick because you just, you can never have enough sugar cookie. Sugar cookie just smells exactly, exactly like that. It's a sugar cookie. <laughs> it's so good. And it's different from, because I know we have a few different like vanilla based scents. Um, and this is different for me than vanilla bean buttercream. Vanilla bean buttercream is definitely a more, it's a much richer vanilla, um, bakery vanilla scent. This, you get that breadiness of the cookie. And I really like that. I feel like vanilla bean buttercream, if I had to choose one or the other, I would choose sugar cookie every single time. I just, I like the kind of cookie bready note to this um, that vanilla bean buttercream doesn't give. So, but I love them both. I love them both. But if I only had to choose one, it would definitely be sugar cookie. Now, since he says sugar cookie is warm, sweet blend of butter, sugar, and creamy vanilla. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And it's so good. You can use this as a mixer. It's amazing on its own. But if you're wanting to give something a little bit more of a bakery note to it, add it with a cube of sugar cookie. It's going to do the trick every single time. It's amazing. Okay. And then the next two, 
I really like, okay, one of these I really like on its own, and then the other one I prefer mixed together. And if you've been with me for at least the last month or so, you know what I'm gonna talk about. Apple butter frosting and churro churro. Oh my goodness. If you love gourmand, if you love kitchen scents, if you love bakery, cookie, pastry, cake type scents, you gotta give this a try. It is so good. Okay, so the one that I was saying on its own that I do like is apple butter frosting. Apple butter frosting on its own is fantastic. Um, it doesn't need anything else with it if you are content and happy with this, with the way this smells. And I am. I'm super happy with the way this smells on its own. This to me smells like it's apple cider, and I say this every single time, it's apple cider meets a like buttercream frosting, obviously, but it's really, really nice. There is that little bit of a spice note to it that's um, that is along with the apple, but I'm okay with it because there's so much like, I don't want to say heavy, but like rich bakery notes along with it. So they just balance each other out really well. It's amazing on its own. It's a fantastic performer, but then, but then there's more. <laughs> And when you mix it with churro churro now churro churro on its own on cold i love it on cold i absolutely love it but when it's warming on its own i don't smell it absolutely nothing and i don't know why this is but when i mix it i can then smell it i know that sounds crazy because in my mind when i first did this mix in the bars to jars series i thought the apple butter frosting was just going to completely overtake churro churro but it doesn't they marry and they mingle and they just they do amazing things together it's so good churro churro just smells like a churro obviously so you get that like bakery sugared cinnamon with that like i say it like this but it's that greasy pastry oh my gosh it smells so good it's amazing so when you mix the two together you have the sweet from the apple you have the little bit of spice from from this you have the um that like buttercream frosting but then you up the ante here with a little extra like sugared cinnamon note from here and that like greasy pastry almost donut um kind of scent and they oh whoo i have ordered so many more of these <laughs> just for this exact combination it is to die for to die for if you haven't tried this mix you've got to give it a try because it is phenomenal so whew, amazing i would warm this and i will warm this and i have warmed this all throughout my house not just in the kitchen that's so good okay and then my like honorable mention my number seven you can't actually get anymore but i know a lot of people have actually added this to their scentsy club i was one that added to my scentsy club because i absolutely love this this is probably like if i had to choose just one vanilla based scent this would be it hazelnut frosting this was actually a part of a holiday collection it was a trio of bars and just the collection alone like i would purchase i purchased several of all three bars just for this one bar <laughs> yes it's so good i love this because it is that really rich um bakery vanilla it's warm it's rich it's comforting and then you have that nutty hazelnut along with it and it's just so like i said it's rich and decadent it's deep it's just oh it's so good <laughs> just love this it is amazing so I this is another one I love in the kitchen living room dining room wherever you want to warm this it's so good I know there are a lot of people that were like I tried I tried to like it and I just couldn't it's okay I forgive you we're still friends <laughs> But for me, this has to make my list. So, and like I said, if I if I chose all of, of my like top gourmand scents, the list would be seven miles long. But these would just be like my top basic picks for what I would choose during this time. So I love it. I love it. I love it. So Hazelnut, I didn't even tell you. Oh my gosh, get it together, Lisa. <laughs> um, let me tell you about apple butter frosting, churro churro, and then I'll read you the notes of hazelnut frosting. Apple butter frosting is a heartwarming medley of cinnamon spiced apples and decadent vanilla buttercream. So exactly what I was smelling, I pick up every single one of those notes. It's fantastic. Like I said, it's fantastic on its own. But if you really want to like give it that extra bakery 
deliciousness mix it with churro churro which which churro churro is a baked pastry sprinkled with cinnamon sugar captures that heavenly churro charm once again i smell every single element of that description since he hit the nail on the head absolutely 100 percent the only thing i would say about this is i wish the performance for this one by itself was stronger but surprisingly enough when you mix it it doesn't actually get lost so i'm happy about that and then hazelnut frosting it's not in the current catalog but i did grab the description so hazelnut frosting is a uh, heavenly hazelnut cream whipped with golden vanilla and a hint of ginger uh i don't get ginger in this at all it's just that like heavy vanilla cream and like hazelnut oh it's lovely so for those of you who maybe don't love this scent let me know are you picking up the ginger in this because i i don't get any ginger i don't love ginger scents um they tend to be a little bit too harsh for me but this is just like heavy vanilla cream and just rich hazelnut it's amazing so those would be my top seven <laughs> Picks, uh, for the kitchen category. So let me know in the comments below what you would pick or what your favorite scents are to warm from the current catalog um, in your kitchen area. Or if you're just someone like myself and you love a good gourmand scent, um, let me know what your favorite scents are. If you if you do gourmand all over the house or if you choose specific rooms of the house to uh, warm particular categories of scents, let me know. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.